Ropes that over top of the head of the shortstop. Runners taking off. Lutz making his way home, and he will be in for the first run of the game as Wesley Bass is safely into second with an RBI double. Showing off everything he's got right there. The 88 exit velo on a perfectly placed hit. Well-timed. Shows off the wheels getting into second base. That was a fantastic job from the Georgia State commit. And we talked player of the game. Uh, the first run of the game comes via the bat of Georgia State commit Wesley Bass as part of that three-run third inning for five-star Team GA, and that earned him player of the game. Definitely. I, I think he was the, the most deserving guy out there on the field. Obviously, we talked about the, the defensive plays, especially for Carson Ray throughout the, uh, throughout the broadcast. But Wesley Bass really put the wind in the sails of this team. This was a pitcher's duel, and it looked like we were going to keep rolling. And then we get this like 30-minute extended <laughs> bottom of the third inning where they score all three runs, and it all started off the bat of Wesley Bass, who then also came around and scored one of those runs. So I think definitely uh, Wesley Bass is your player of the game. Yeah, Chase Tuggle, by the way, gets a couple RBI and a ball that drops into second base. Some kudos to him, and you mentioned it. Uh, Got to give some love to the defensive work at Carson Ray. Uh, ends up turning two double plays and had a fantastic play in the seventh inning from his backside for what was really a key second out there as they were able to secure things and get the upper class Fall World Series championship. So congratulations to five-star Team GA. What's up, everyone? Simone Stanley here at Lake Point Sports, and we just wrapped up the Prep Baseball Upper Class World Series. We are joined by the player of the game, West Bass. West Bass helped lead the five-star Georgia past the dirt bags. West, first of all, congratulations on a big win. Thank you, thank you. So you helped the team get on the board for the first time. You scored the RBI double to put the team on the board. What were you seeing at the plate? Um, I was trying to look for a fastball, got a fastball, and put a good swing on it, trying to help my pitcher out. So this was a collective team win. What was the vibes like in the dugout in a close game like this when everybody had to be sharp? Um, they were good. We were just trying to help our pitcher out, put some runs on the board, um, get behind our guys. So it was all good. What was the competition like throughout this tournament this weekend? It was pretty good. Um, got to see some good arms, some good bats. Uh, teams were pretty good. What were you most impressed by from the team's win today? Um, how we all like rallied together. Um, our tempo was a little down at the start, and we really picked it up, and I'm just proud of our guys. What do you think was the turning point in the game that had you all turning that tempo and intensity up? Um, I think it was really just from like the start, honestly, like when our pitchers started doing really good and kept putting up zeros. So that started motivated us um, and um, it motivated us to hit better. And what about that last inning where, you know, the dirtbags, they, they were getting some momentum. They had two runners on, knowing that you couldn't allow them to come back. What was the mindset in that last inning? Um, I had trust in my guy up there, Cohen, and I knew we were going to get out of there, so I was confident. And they did exactly that, get out of there. But, guys, I'm Simone Stanley. He is our player of the game, West Bass, a Georgia State commit, representing five-star Georgia. Thank you guys so much.